but have lost two election cycles in a row. Mr. Trump has fully denounced David Duke, white supremacist that there and the other, for a very long time. There was one interview where his earpiece was in and out, didn't understand the groups that were being referred to, and simply asked for clarification before rendering judgment. Come to find out, there was no endorsement to begin with, which made it a non-issue. Oh, so we have no we have no response to that. We're going to continue to move forward. But Katrina, what about the broader issue here, which is that Mr. Trump has gotten the support from other white supremacist groups that have been uh, that have been conducting robocalls. You have the American Freedom Party that called him the Great White Hope. The American Nazi Party uh, calling s supporting Donald Trump. Does he? disavow that support? I'll say it again. Mr. Trump has been condemning white supremacy groups, David Duke, KKK, you name it, for the last three or four days now. And these robocalls, they they're say they're coming from white supremacy groups, but just yesterday, Gateway Pundit published an article where some of those calls were traced back to a super PAC from another candidate. So we're not even sure that these groups are really out there. Uh, but look, this, this is the thing. Mr. Trump is winning, and the establishment doesn't know what to do about it. And so they're adopting liberal tactics and calling the, the race card. It's become quite absurd. Well, so, Katrina, there's also the support of Louis Farrakhan. Uh, you know, it's I think a lot of people are surprised that Donald Trump is actually bringing together people <laughs> that uh, are white supremacists, David Duke, the KKK, and somebody like Louis Farrakhan. I mean, it, it's quite interesting to see a lot of people who say uh, that they support some of the policies that Mr. Trump has. And like Ronald Reagan said, they've endorsed me. I haven't endorsed them. But when you talk about unity, I mean, in your own words, I mean, that's quite shocking when some of these other people come out and support some of Mr. Trump's policies. And, and besides, with regard to the KKK, at this point, you have to be literally blind to think that Mr. Trump is aligned with the KKK. But to a broader perspective, this is what we expected to happen in the general election for, for the Republicans or Republican Party to be painted as racist or extremists and things that we've dealt with on the grassroots side for quite a Because people see through those types of tactics, and, and I think it's, it's a bad play by the establishment. But Katrina, what Louis Farrakhan said uh, was that Mr. Trump is the only member who has stood in front of the Jewish community and said, I don't want your money. Anytime a man can say to those who control the do any man, anytime a man can say to those who control the politics of America, I don't want your money, that means you can't control me. Does Donald Trump think that Jews control the politics of America? Well, Mr. Trump tells everybody, uh, not just any special interest group, he talks about special interests and lobbyists and the people that control everything and every industry for that matter, that he can't be bought. This is nothing new. And Mr. Trump cannot control what other individuals say, whether it's good or bad about him. But yes, that is one of the draws to Mr. Trump's candidacy from a lot of people, is the simple fact that he cannot be bought. When it comes down to making policy, he's not going to be influenced by any special interests on either side. All right, Katrina, our panel is here. They have a couple of questions for you. Josh, you want to take it? I just want to pick up on something that you just said. I give you a chance to clarify. You were responding to Louis Farrakhan's attack, obviously an anti-Semitic uh, rant there. And you indicated that uh, what he was talking about was a special interest group. Is that the way that the Trump campaign actually views uh, Jewish voters as a special <laughs> interest group? What kind of question is that? Uh, no, absolutely not. Uh, I was asked about Farrakhan's statement and took that back to the premise of the Trump campaign is that he can't be bought by any special interest group, whether it's a lobbyist or a corporation. Well, for that I, I, I did. I asked if Mr. Trump agrees with the idea that, that Jews control the politics in America. Of course not. Mr. Trump is running as Mr. Trump, not for or against any group or organization. He's running for the American people. And it's these types of questions that even make you question journalism at this point. I mean, this, is be this has become really ridiculous. Why don't you ask me a valid question?